This is going to be the gearbox for my solar reflector. This is it operational. My hands are not doing anything. Nothing is being held in place. But I will demonstrate the robustness of the system. And check out that it's only a very small motor. Very small stepper motor using 5 volts able to provide enough torque to hopefully withstand the wind. Now I've timed it. Now that bolt there, I've just put that there as a marker. It takes 10 minutes for this giant wheel to go from here to here, which is easily enough time for this dish to track the sun as it's moving across the sky. Because say, I mean, maybe the sun only takes six hours to get from here to here in the winter, and maybe it takes as long as 14 hours during the summer. Ten minutes is easy enough to keep track with the sun. Now okay, this is only the mighty gearbox to pull the giant sky dish up and down, but let me show you how this works. This stepper motor here goes to these ULN transistors here. These ULN transistors are motor drivers. So they take a small signal in from the Arduino, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or if I want it to move backwards, 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there will be two stepper motors. The other one, of course, is down here. And the gearbox will be mounted on here, and um, this giant sky dish will be the collector of the solar energy. Oh, um, Lexi's come home. Say hello, Lexi. Hi. Can you please be my tour guide of my gear experiment? I want you to be the face of solar energy. Because <laughs> I'm a ray of sunshine. So come on, explain to me what's going on here. Explain to you. You need to be in the on. camera shot. You need to be in the camera shot. So you need to get down a bit more. Hey. Your gears are turning. Have you stuck that on? Don't move it. Don't move it. That's to mark <laughs> how far minutes. it's moved. Because I'm allowed ten minutes on a YouTube video, and I Bye. figured what's a better way to demonstrate how long it takes to move this. So you're about four minutes through, really. Okay, yes, there's a bit of a mess in the kitchen, but I have proved it works. And there is not even any it's aid of a computer. Mess in the kitchen. So that's plugged into your Arduino, which is plugged into power supply? Mm-hmm. And you've programmed your Arduino? Yes, the Arduino's just got a simple bit of code at the moment. So you can take this outside now? Um, well, I could if I had a battery supply which is currently powering the Arduino and the Utep motor, which conveniently both use 5 volts. Unfortunately, most batteries use 1.5 volts. If you use 3, it's 4.5, it's too little. Can't you get the power through your solar array? Have you got an alternator? Have you got a DC to DC converter? Again, the costs just go up and up and up. I mean, the whole point of this system is it's designed to cook. It's a cooking system, it's a water heating system, it's a not a solar... system? It's not an electrical generating system. Although I suppose I could put some solar panels on the side of it to generate a bit of power. No reason why not. Though, you took kind of five minutes of me. Let you go. <laughs> so this then goes back onto the frame, does it? Well, what's going to happen is that you see this line here I've marked. This line here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut across here and this is going to be the edge of my gearbox. Okay? So you're going to make a box around that shaft? Mm hmm. I'm going to put two more giant bolts here and here. And also, 
just about here, and again about here. Does it have to be precise, or is that? Mm, well, as long as it's not getting in the way of the gear, and as long as it all locks together and locks tight, it's fine. And do you want to give that bar there a little bit of a twist, and just to see how... Go on, give the bar a twist. This one? Yep, not too much, just a little bit. Is it pretty strong? It's a bit wobbly, I'm not sure... Okay, it's a little bit wobbly, but is it holding? It's not coming out Literally. of... Literally. Do you think it will withstand the Scottish winds? Um. I'm not sure about that one. Careful, don't touch the surface of it. I put a bit of oil on it to stop it from corroding. So, what's the um, so you've got this one going this way, but what about the other one? Going the other way. Well, I can show you a basic experiment if you want to hold the camera. Point the camera at the power supply to start off with. So, off. I can't see because you're a shadow. Okay, and then we plug these four out. Well, I thought you didn't because you had ten minutes for your circle. That's right. But you've switched off. OK, that's not a problem. Don't get the order mixed up. And... One, two, three, four. Back in this way. Is this your X, Y axis, or is it your Z? Uh, this is the Y axis that's going up and down. So I've switched them back around the other way, and now... I've formed the gears again. All I've done is I've just uh, reversed the order of the four. So the Arduino is still saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, but it's actually going to the um, opposite um, connection. So it's going 4, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. So it's going the other way around. And it's using the half-step algorithm, which is where it basically goes... Mm, 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 so is this mm, one mm, going to be taking mm, the dish left mm, to right? right? No, it's going to be going up and down, this one, because this is the powerful one that has to so lift the, the giant thing. what's the one that's going to be going left to right? That's the one that's already down there. I'm hoping to be able to reuse that CD ball bearings thing. I mean, I don't know if it's going to handle the left and right bit of it, but there's less strain of having to lift up and down, because this thing's having to fight gravity. The other one's just moving, you know, in the same plane as gravity. Probably could have cleared the surface so that it could show it better, but anyway, and the writing's better than here. I don't need you. Well, stop filming me, film the project. What's it is? Thank you. I'm showing the fairy cakes you made tonight. Yes, but that's not really relevant to <laughs> solar energy, my darling. Let's show your sewing skills. Okay, that's my nine minutes up. I hope you've enjoyed the little gearbox demonstration, and I look forward to showing you the actual dish moving around next time. Thanks for watching.